Thank you. It's Eric Previn from the 3rd District, uh, and I have some roots in Malibu as well. I'm not exactly familiar with this property, but having listened to the community residents who've come down, uh, and I know Mr. Gaines' work, um, this does seem uh, like the kind of appeal that should be heard. Uh, you know, there's a neighboring property that was uh, in 1970 uh, was elevated above, and that's one of the reasons why the California Coastal Commission was found. So when they use that as an example, it's important to understand that that is one of the reasons why we try to restrict and limit what can be done. This is also a question of neighborliness. And my, my final comment is, how is it that the Regional Planning Commission uh, has brought us to this spot? I mean, I looked closely, and there were three very uh, discreet, short meetings in which little shaves and this and that, but but there seemed to be um, a desire to push this through, and that is always a question. And I know Mr. Rojas, whoever that is, has taken a leading role, and then he's moved his, his job, but he's continued to take this project along with him. That's also a teeny bit of a red flag that I think is worth looking at. I don't know the man or anything about him. But I think that when a board of supervisors is uh, addressed by so many community residents about something that sounds so reasonable, which is to make it equitable and fair for people of the same uh, community who are all obviously trying to get along, it doesn't sound like uh, the Wongs are trying to limit this particular project, uh, I would urge the board uh, to consider the appeal very seriously. And uh, that's my comment. Thank you. All right, that closes the public.